guys and welcome back to my channel this is an all these keto friendly food haul i hope you guys enjoy it please thumbs up and subscribe so today my budget at all these was maybe 55 to 60 dollars ranging um and i bought some well two packs of chickens this is just a thinly sliced chicken breast right here and then i bought a whole pack of chicken wings because i am not a chicken leg person I just really don't like chicken legs like that. They've been so huge when I see them in the stores that I get so afraid to buy them. So I just buy some chicken wings and marinate them and have chicken wings. Um, they are great. And then I bought some uncured turkey franks. Um, as you know, I recently tried to do <laughs> the keto friendly diet and I wasn't able to hold up, you guys. But this time around, I am really, really, really going to be restarting my keto today so i bought some of these yogurts for not for me specifically but for ajj my son he loves these yogurts so besides the keto i had to get him a couple of snacks and instead of him eating chips and stuff i thought that these will maybe help um with that so i switched out the chips we'll swap the chips for some yogurt and he really 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 loves them so he's gonna have like one cup a day and when I do try to get back to audience, I'll buy him maybe another case of these yogurts. These are so, 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 so good. And these are the Friendly Farm brand of yogurts. Um, so, yeah, I, as a mom, I will recommend these for your kids. So, I never bought any canned items from any store. So, I decided, well, hey, I feel that, you know, in the regular stores, they have frozen vegetables. Maybe I could just buy the canned Friendly um vegetables and wash them off really good and freeze them just like the stores because it don't make no sense to buy frozen uh, vegetables and you do the same thing with the ones in the cans as well but these were like 43 cents a piece and then i did buy some crushed tomatoes back there because i want to make my own keto friendly um pasta sauce with that i'm not going to be eating a lot of pasta you guys i'm probably going to eat like maybe my um Kuna, uh, kuna or i'm gonna eat like jasmine rice just a bit of it but i'm not gonna eat a whole bunch of pasta stuff because i don't want to mess up <laughs> so then i bought this hot sauce i normally get my hot sauce from the 99 cent only stores and then i saw this i said this is only 99 cents and i'm like i feel like i'm getting robbed at the 99 um, since only store because I bought a whole thing of hot sauce and then a whole thing of mustard and my 99 cent store they don't have like big mustards like this so I was really excited to grab these two and so you guys know I rant and rave about this taco season mix is so good um, and then it's 25% less sodium everything I'm showing you um, it's going to have like the carbohydrates and the sugars and so far I'm doing really good at um, getting stuff without a lot of sugar in it then I got these giant strawberries. Girl, look. Oh my gosh, they look so freaking good. I'm going to use these for maybe snacks and my smoothies. And then I got some almond milk because I switched Ashton over to almond milk because we are lactose intolerant. And I really love this almond milk. It's so good. The fact that it's dairy free, soy free, and gluten free. Girl, yes. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and then we love it in our cereal. Um, I recently stopped eating cereal. I don't know why. I don't like cereal anymore. Um, but yeah. And then I got some roasted pistachios. In the regular store, it costs like $10 a pack. And it's at my local Tom Thumb. Maybe in your area, it'd be a, a safe way. But at all this, this was only five bucks. You cannot beat that. In the regular stores, it's $10. Then I also found the salad mixes. Um, this was the little salad bar sweet kale chop salad kit and it has uh, roasted pumpkin seeds dried cranberries uh, poppy seed a poppy seed dressing i'm not going to use the dressing i'm going to go for that dressing you see over in the corner and then i got this fresh express chop kit sunflower crisp salad um and i'm really excited to try it it looks really really fresh and good i know fresh and for spreads you guys had like a thing a recall going on but I had to get it because it looks really super fresh um, but um i got this raspberry gir raspberry <laughs> raspberry vinaigrette and the sugars on this is really really crazy like it's not even any sugars in this so i was really excited to grab this um 
dressing for these salads. Um, so also I found this light sour cream. I'm going to be making like um, lettuce taco wraps. So I want to get some of this and try it out. It's my first time ever trying it. So um, I'm really excited about that. I hope that um, it tastes really good. Then I got lime for water and to maybe dress in my taco salad. Um, and then I got these mini tomatoes, which are so, 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 so good. Oh my gosh. I eat them for a snack. <laughs> also picked up this um fit active cranberry drink um i actually tasted it inside of all these and it was so good i had to buy it um because girl you know i'm not gonna leave it like that that's crazy <laughs> but yeah five calories if you drink the whole thing it's 15 calories no sugar added and yet the carbohydrates on this zero <laughs> because it's water infused with cranberry then i got some ranch packets for some um dishes that I'm going to be making um, and I got a chipotle one it looks really good so I want to top that on like a salad or something um, just kind of switch up my dressings but five calories that's not even bad for uh, ranch packets also I got these um, frozen berry melonies unsweetened um, and I use these for my smoothies that's it or um, mom makes me homemade preserves with my um, with the sugar that I'm going to be getting, which is stevia. Um, and she makes my preserves, my jelly with this. So I am really excited to have this. Also, I got my favorite cheese, Happy Forms by Aldi's Nuts, Smoke Prolo, Deli Sliced Cheese. Really, really good for those um, turkey and cheese pickle wraps that I'm going to be making. And everything that I make, you guys, I'm going to be showing you. If I prep food, I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to really get into this keto this time and not lose focus. Um, and then I got some fresh zucchini, which is so good when it's sauteed on the stove or in a griller. It is so freaking good. I think I want to make like a zucchini um, lasagna or something to see how it tastes, how, see how it goes. Um, most of my ideas are going to come from Pinterest. I also picked up this avocado, yum, 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 but it wasn't right. It wasn't really ready for me to eat, so I had to wait a minute. Then I got this ground turkey. I, you guys, I really wanted to go to my local Sam's Club to get my meats, but the, t the time that I was um, at Aldi's, I was like, this is way cheaper, so I'm just going to get it. It was only like $5 uh, per um, pack of turkey meat uh, for the family, so I got that. Then I found some turkey po uh, polo sausage um, by Parkview, and I've never tried this, but I think that this would be really good for like a nice little, um, um, for my turkey wraps, my, not my turkey wraps, but my lettuce wraps. So yeah, just sprinkle some cheese on that, girl, girl, yes. So anywho, this is my um, Aldi's Keto Friendly Foods haul. Hope you guys enjoy. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button the thumbs up button and yes there's my baby i love you pumpkin wookie 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 i love you he's so cute and darling he wanted to get in the picture ah, because i was doing my thumbnail <laughs> but you guys have a great day happy monday bye